The CDC reports two out of every 10 people in the United States between the ages of 20 and 69 have permanent hearing loss. Think about that for a second. So, and more people are expected, obviously, to lose their hearing every year as we all age. Melanie's joining us now. Mel, there are some signs to look out for. Yeah, you know, and it's so hard. You know, if you know anyone that's lost their hearing, it is a very difficult transition. First, you're going to have to admit it. But you might be at risk if you're having trouble hearing high-pitched sounds like the doorbell or, or if it's hard to follow conversations in noisy places like a restaurant. Another sign, if you ask people to talk slower, the good news is hearing loss is preventable. Can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? If you're hearing this more often, what? you're not alone. A multi-university study found 1 billion people are expected to lose their hearing. And it's not just affecting the elderly. Age doesn't really seem to play a role here. It can be somebody very young, very old. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention says safe listening occurs at 85 decibels, which is equivalent to a food blender. So what can hurt your hearing? Things such as blow dryers and lawnmowers exceed the safe levels. City traffic comes in at 90 decibels. Listening to music from your smartphone can be as high as 105 decibels. And event venues emit noises as loud as 104 to 112 decibels. Your overall health can also contribute to hearing loss. Types 1 and 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, and high cholesterol affects almost every cell in the body, including the ears. And even pain relievers like aspirin and ibuprofen could do damage in high amounts. Also, try using noise-canceling headphones to reduce background noise. If you are in an area where you can't control the sound levels like a concert, stand farther away from the speakers and take a break from the noise every 15 minutes. And give your hearing a break for at least 18 hours after lots of loud noises. And remember, there's no shame in getting your hearing tested. Say the word knock. Now, regular checkups with your doctor can also help identify hearing loss, especially if you have a family history of it, you work in a noisy environment, or you have noisy hobbies. So keep that in mind and really suggesting that you talk to your doctor about this because it, it, it can make life very difficult. It's hard to be patient also sometimes. Yeah. You know, if you have older parents, we were just chatting about yeah. that because you don't want to lose your patience with them, but they can't hear you. So right. you have to like stop and look at them and be patient and not yeah. start talking slowly right, because I know. then they feel like you're patronizing them and yeah. you're not meaning to. I know it's hard also reduce some of that background noise can help too and you know sometimes they are reading your lips so it's definitely a process. The good news Melanie is there's a lot of technology now a lot of people have hearing aids mm -hmm. that go through their phones yep. so they can talk very easily so if you do have the issues go to a doctor because help, yeah. things yeah. have gotten a lot better mm -hmm. with help. Thanks Mel. You're welcome.